Thank you very much for joining me and taking the time to subscribe to this channel. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and I hope you're doing well. A few things to watch. We've been watching a couple areas of showers across parts of the Caribbean, some windy conditions, bigger fronts, Canada and the U.S. And one thing that is very interesting is the possibility, and it's now a higher possibility, of some subtropical development in the central Atlantic. There's a small window that right in through here, there could actually be a subtropical storm trying to form. Is that going to be a threat to land? No, but this time of year, that is very interesting. We have this spin up toward the Azores with it a trailing front, and you see the front right here. So here we are in the Caribbean, Bermuda, Atlantic region of Canada, east coast of the U.S. here. Here's that front, and a lot of times this time of year, as these big spins move away, they leave a little leftover moisture, and that's what we're seeing in the central Atlantic. And watch what happens. Watch how this tries to spin up, and there is a chance that this becomes briefly uh, a named subtropical system, not a hurricane or anything like that, not truly tropical in nature, but here's the front and then you get the trailing moisture. And as we go out in time here, this big spin by the Azores lifts up toward our friends in parts of Europe and then that leftover moisture just kind of hangs out over the central uh, portions of the Atlantic. And what happens is, this is by tomorrow, another front off the uh, Atlantic region of Canada starts to move across and helps draw this to the north a bit. As this moves to the north, it spins a little bit more. I don't want to get too much into the science of that. But either way, this area is going to start to take on a pretty healthy spin by late tomorrow into Wednesday, or into a Thursday rather. And that's when it could become a subtropical storm before the next front approaches and look at that spin right there you see it for yourself by the time we hit Friday now by Friday into Saturday it should start to weekend maybe get tied up into this front so tomorrow and Thursday that is the small window there could actually be a named subtropical system out there in the central Atlantic and the models are picking up on that this here is the American model and this here is kind of an inside look at the European model, and you can see uh, here in the uh, Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, it's, it's not the hurricane season. We're not going to see a hurricane out there, but look at this uh, even yellow shading showing up. That's giving this area, the European model saying, hey, this has about a 30 to 40% chance of developing into a subtropical storm. What is subtropical? Well, it's not truly tropical in nature, or it's not truly not tropical in nature. It's something kind of uh, in between, uh, kind of a broader system. Uh, where there's not really this tight center like a hurricane would have a big eye, just kind of a broad wind maker out there, but it does feed off of some of the warmer water temperatures. Now, water temperatures, obviously, it's December, right? They've cooled a lot. Uh, back in the Gulf of Mexico, 23 uh, degrees Celsius to about 26 uh, in spots. That's generally in the 70s, running in the 60s right along the coast. We get back through the Caribbean, still right around 29 degrees Celsius or 84 degrees Fahrenheit in many spots. Now, this this area we're watching, here is Bermuda. We get out here, you can see where this area may briefly develop uh, 21, 22 degrees uh, Celsius. So that is below the threshold for a tropical system to form. A tropical system, you need about 80 degrees Fahrenheit or higher in the water. That is not the case here. So keeping everything in perspective, this is nothing more than a very interesting area to watch, but the water temperatures are still above average. So that may kind of feed this system a little bit more and give it that brief window to develop into a named system. Now, as far as named systems go in December, it is rare to say the least. Uh, 17 named storms have formed in the month of December. Now, some formed in November and kind of carried over into December, but 17 have actually formed in December on record, and that's over well over 100 years of record keeping. To show you how rare that is, the last one was December 5th through the 7th uh, back in 2013, so over a decade ago, and that was up by the Azores. This kind of a similar spot between the Azores and Bermuda, but just a small window for it to develop. Now, if a subtropical system gets a name, uh, it still takes on the list from this year, uh, the hurricane season clearly over, but the list holds through the end of the calendar year. So if a subtropical storm did develop, the next name on the list would be Tony, still carrying on the list from the uh, uh, past hurricane season, Valerie William, uh, the names uh, also not used 
on the list. The new year for the next hurricane season that does kick in on January 1st. Now, that area is up here elsewhere. We've seen those scattered showers around uh, close to the Turks and Caicos and Bahamas, near Anguilla and Antigua, Barbuda. We've had some rain overnight in Trinidad and Tobago. Been watching your comments. You may have woken up to a little bit of rain over toward parts of Trinidad. I'll watch your comments throughout the day. Spotty areas of showers will be possible. Here's Honduras uh, back through uh, Nicaragua. You see some of those uh, spotty showers that are around Belize, a couple of those scattered showers pulling forward into tomorrow. Here's the Dominican Republic. We've had a bit of rain over the last couple of days in some locations. It's one of those patterns. Not all of us get it, but some of us do. And then you see back toward the northern Bahamas by later tomorrow. Uh, Freeport, maybe New Providence. We could get clipped by some showers. Then as we work our way into Thursday, Central America scattered showers. We'll see that as well. Grenada, St. Lucia, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Barbados, Dominica, back through Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, some uh, isolated showers. Now, uh, seas will be building in the central Atlantic, of course, where we have that possibility of subtropical uh, development. Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico today, not bad, but building a bit, this is by tomorrow, Central Caribbean. Things are gonna get a little bit bumpier. And of course, the Atlantic waters this year is by Thursday. With that strong flow coming in out of the Northeast, those seas will be elevated. And watching more of those fronts that I was talking about in yesterday's video, moving off the coast of the United States, that will increase those seas as well in the uh, Atlantic. So we get a look at what we're watching. Here's Bermuda. Here is this front right here, and there is that spin that may become subtropical storm Tony. So one front clearing the Atlantic region of Canada by tomorrow, and then another one. Look at that snow, snow rain uh, working its way through parts of the mid-Atlantic back into New England, and then up toward the Atlantic region of Canada once again. Another front moving by, just kind of reinforcing some of that cooler air. And then by Christmas, there should be a bigger system that is gonna build very close to the Northeast US and the Atlantic region of Canada. We'll cover that ahead in uh, uh, future videos, of course. Now, as far as the rain goes, Bahamas, not a lot, but the Northern Bahamas tomorrow, we may see a better chance of some rain moving in even the chance of some thunderstorms. Temperatures have been warming. That could give us a little extra juice where a few spots may get over 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. Now for us in the Cayman Islands, for us in Jamaica, a hit or miss shower possible, a couple scattered showers possible. Rain totals not too terribly high. Eastern Cuba, better chance of rain, but there we go. Northern sections and Eastern sections of the Dominican Republic, we could have some spots of 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain in scattered showers anywhere from Puerto Rico, U.S. British Virgin Islands, Montserrat uh, over toward St. Martin. Uh, we could see some of those scattered showers giving us some totals around an inch or maybe two of some rain and watching that Dominica South and then back through Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, more of an active pattern. Like I mentioned last night and earlier this morning, we already had some showers around. So just keeping an eye on some of that rain back through Northern Guyana and Suriname, where some totals may approach 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain for a three day rain total scattered about through Central America, uh, but not super widespread watching Panama up to the uh, north and then Mexico City back through Texas, generally those dry conditions. So some scattered showers, a 30 to 40% chance the next few days for us in Jamaica. Rain chance not super high, Cayman Islands. Uh, we get about a 30% chance today and a 20% chance tomorrow. But back through Trinidad and Tobago, that's where it's more active. Not all of us get the rain, but scattered rain will be a possibility over the next few days. Even some isolated areas of flooding. So giving you that heads up across Trinidad and Tobago for us. We'll be watching that. I'll be watching your comments. 40 to 50% chance in Barbados. 30% chance today in St. Lucia, but it does bump up to a 50% chance tomorrow. 30% chance today in Grenada, 40% chance tomorrow. Thursday, we're up to about a 50% chance. So you see a building in tomorrow and Thursday, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, 40, 50% chance of some scattered showers. And even 40% chance in Martinique and about a 30 to 40% chance in Dominica. Winds will be out of the Northeast. Keep me posted on if you're getting some of those breezy or windy conditions around. Guadalupe rain chance 50% by tomorrow. 50% chance though today. Antigua and Barbuda, we've already had some of that rain that's been nearby. A 50% chance today, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat and a 40% 
percent chance tomorrow. We do that again. Anguilla and St. Bart's just kind of seeing that unsettled weather pattern. 50% chance of rain today. St. Martin, Saban, and Stacia down to a 30% chance tomorrow and again on Thursday. 30 to 40% chance right across Puerto Rico. 30% chance in the U.S. and British Virgin Islands today, but it bumps up to about a 50% chance of some fast moving showers by tomorrow. 30 to 40% chance in the Bahamas, but the best chance will be tomorrow in the northern Bahamas. 40% chance Turks and Caicos. We've seen some scattered showers around even this morning. Dominican Republic, northern and eastern sections, a better chance of rain. We may get clipped by a couple showers, especially northern sections of Haiti over the next three days. Belize, our rain chance stays at about 40% today, bumping up slightly tomorrow and Thursday, we're going to be up to a 50% chance. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire rain chance holding at that uh, kind of seasonal uh, 20 to 30% chance. But parts of Guyana, some flooding possible. Parts of Suriname, some flooding possible. We're going to see some of those areas of rain. Now, as we work our way back toward Cuba, eastern sections, that's where we have a better chance. The next two days, Costa Rica, Panama, about a 30% chance of rain. It does bump up, though, by the time we have Thursday. 40 to 50% chance in Nicaragua. Scattered showers around in Honduras, a little bit higher by the time we get into Thursday in Honduras, about a 50 to 60% chance of rain. Guatemala and El Salvador, rain chance not very high. We're mainly dry in Mexico City. Rain chance across the Yucatan Peninsula, about 20 to 30% uh, chance. We did have a few showers for some of us the last couple of days. Northern Colombia, rain chance 20 to 30%, 30% chance in northern Venezuela. And just watching these fronts, scooting by Bermuda. So plenty to track right now. Now, a subtropical a system may form again over the open water. So that's some good news, whether or not that does uh, form. Either way, it's going to be over the open waters. But watching the areas of rain in those bigger fronts to the north, especially a bigger one as we approach Christmas. I'll get into that further in tomorrow's video. I do hope you're doing well. I'll go through those comments throughout the day. Have a good rest of your day.